What's up guys, welcome to another video, and today we are going to be reviewing the long-awaited Precision Series Toe Mater Toyin and Salvage set. So this was really new for this year, so that means it made its debut brand new this year. So that is very awesome. So if you want to try the lights, all you have to do is just click on this, and then the lights turn on. One on Mater's house, there's a little light over here, and then here is the lamp. So that is so amazing. Like I said, I cannot wait to open this up. So also in the back it just says it just has the logo for cars and the precision series. Very cool. So yeah, and also there's a description on the back. If you'd like to pause and read that, you feel free to. And here's a picture of Mater in his junkyard at night. So Let's open this box up. Okay, so here is Precision Series Mater's Toy and Salvage Junkyard out of the box. So this set looks awesome. So first, let's get into the diecast Mater. So here is Mater. He looks pretty awesome. So he's kind of looking off, almost like kind of into the distance. And also, when you press this engine right here, his only headlight lights up and his little light in the back. So that is something that's very awesome. So other than that, it looks almost exactly like the original Mater. Here's the side view. Back, we still got the same license plate and pretty much, pretty much everything. But also something that is pretty different is that Mater does, you guys can probably tell that if I put him kind of at an angle like this, you can tell that Mater kind of looks a little bit, I guess like his head looks a little bit skinnier. I don't really know how to explain that very well, but I can just tell you guys that I guess like his head kind of seems a little bit more, I guess, rounded. And that, I believe that's how it's supposed to be in the movie. So I like that the Precision Series Mater seems that it's more accurate. So that's something that I'm very, very impressed with and I'm just very happy with as well. And also, Something that's also very cool, another cool feature, is that there's also rubber tires. Instead of plastic, they're rubber. So when you feel them, you can definitely tell. So that's on all the tires. So very, very awesome. So now, let's just get into the set. So first off, here's the sign, Tomato Toy and Salvage. And it also has this cool light shining over it as well. And then you can see some tires right there and some cool license plates very very nice and here's where you can click this for some of the lights to go on right here right there and in the back so that is awesome and also if you can see here here is mater's house it looks amazing you can see the tires that are on it and it almost kind of looks like a shack you can see that the ramp up to his house is pretty accurate as well in the movie so you can kind of just drive mater on up in there that's so cool. And also, he's got some dirt, and dirt pieces, and just sticks, and bushes, plants. He's got cans over here in the corner, and he's got the, and he's got a lamp over here too that does light up along with the rest of the light up features. And he's got a bunch of tires over here, and some great rust detail on the cans and the car parts. Man, I just love this set so much. It's detailed, it looks great. You can see some of the rocks over there. And also, but here is kind of the impound lot. So you can tell that it kind of looks like the general area with the cans and the tires and some of the bushes right over here. And also, it has this, it has this sign right here that reads, Greater Springs Municipal Impound. So now, something, another cool thing that you can do in the impound lot is you can fit the tuners in the impound lot. But, the most disappointing thing about the set, in my personal opinion, is that not all four of the tuners fit, like in the end of the movie, the end of the first Cars movie. So that is something that's very disappointing, because if you're wondering where Wingo is, and you want to put them all four in the lot, then this is just what happens. You have three of them, and if you want to get a fourth tuner, try to put one in. <laughs> It would just look awkward because it would just have to be on its side or something. And they're all squished as it is, so 
it's just, yeah, I would say this is the most disappointing thing about the set in my personal opinion, but yeah, that's, yeah, just, uh, it's me kind of disappointed about that, but I still think this is a pretty amazing set though, I have to say, other than that part, but yeah, at least you can fit three of them, so I guess that's, I guess that's a pro. Look at those tire tracks, oh, just the detail put into the set is just awesome. And my favorite part of the set is this. Just, oh, I know this isn't like Phyllis V Cafe or Fillmore's, Fillmore's Taste In where like where almost the whole buildings light up, but still I have to say the light up features are still pretty awesome though. Just look at this. I have to say, pretty amazing set. So that is going to conclude this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy this review, and tell me in the comment section below, what's your favorite part about the Precision Series Mater's Junkyard? And hopefully we'll see you again for another Precision Series review and another video. See you guys next time for another video.